Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. Today we're taking a look at an interesting post-World War II Danish submachine gun. This is an M1950 Madsen submachine gun, and uh, we're going to take it apart and take it out shooting and see what we think of it. So they're a pretty simple gun, straight blowback. Um, what makes them different and interesting is primarily the way they disassemble. We have this cool clamshell type receiver, so you unscrew the, uh, the nut on the barrel, and then the entire thing opens up. I should point out you need the stock folded for this, otherwise it'll only open a little ways. And then inside here we have all the pieces. So magazine, single stack, double column, it's a pretty typical 30 round magazine. The barrel comes out. You can see the front trunnion here is manufactured in two halves. There's a collar on the barrel that locks it in place. Really very, very simple. The front trunnion on the other side has a, a matching cutout. And so when you fold it together, these two lock up and hold the barrel in place. Our operating components here, uh, well, there's only one, it's the bolt. Travels back and forth in here. Op rod, mainspring, there's a little rubber buffer at the end. Then I can take this out. This is a submachine gun, so it has a fixed firing pin. Uh, the bolt is just there for mass. Uh, this is a, a direct blowback system, so it's just inertial mass of the bolt that prevents it from opening too quickly. Uh, the Madsen does have a grip safety right here. So if you don't have this grip safety depressed, it'll catch the bolt here before it fires. And then of course our trigger group is a very simple submachine gun type trigger group. Pull the trigger, it drops the sear, releases the bolt, and it fires. It'll continue firing as long as you hold that down until you release it. It does have a manual safety. There we go. That simply prevents you from pulling the sear down. So, pretty simple. Fold it up, snaps together. You'll notice the, the sights are both mounted on the left side of the gun so that they stay more or less in alignment. The stock on here, you set, you got a spring back here and you kind of squeeze it together. Maybe. Squeeze it together and it'll rotate open or closed. Um, the rear sight on this guy is this little tiny peep sight that works reasonably well um, when you've got a nice high cheek weld on the gun. I'm sure it'd be fairly mediocre at night. Uh, it's hard for much light to get through that, but you know, it works during the day anyway. So this is a, a Model 1950 Madsen gun. The first ones that were made were the Model 1946. They then had the 50, a 1953, and then a Mark II 1953. And there are only a couple major elements that changed um, as they went through this progression. On the 1946 models, the charging handle um, actually had to come off before you disassemble the gun and uh, it wrapped around the whole top of the receiver. You can grab it on both sides and rack it like that. Uh, with the 1950 model, which is this, they replaced that with a single top-mounted, um, non-removable kind of charging handle nub. Uh, and they have, 46 and 50 have this straight stick mag. This is a 9mm Luger caliber. With the model 1953, uh, they went to a curved magazine that was found to feed a little more reliably a little bit better. And the 53 model also had the threads for this barrel nut on the barrel itself. So you'd put the barrel in, crank down the nut, and that would hold the receiver together. But the advantage, the advantage to that was that you didn't have the thread split, which meant with the 53 model, with a single set of threads on the barrel, you had less chance of, of the threads here getting out of alignment and the gun being difficult to reassemble. Uh, and then the, the Mark II model of the 1953 gun had a barrel shroud on it as well, so it could mount a bayonet and uh, protect your hand from the heat. So all of these models were sold in small-ish numbers, uh, mostly to small Asian and South and Central American companies, uh, countries, sorry, uh, for both police and military use. Um, not a ton of them out there. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a a gun that showed up everywhere, but it was reasonably successful for the Madsen Company, um, especially considering that these were produced right after World War II, uh, when there wasn't a whole ton of market for small arms, what with all this, the surplus weapons from the war. 
So it's a cool gun. We're going to go ahead and put it back together and take it out to the range and see what it's like to shoot. All right, so we're out of the range with the Madsen and see how it shoots. It is a single stack mag, which means it's a pain in the butt to load. And of course, our magazine catch comes out backwards to remove the mag. The other lever is our grip safety. It's pretty controllable. Rate of fire is not all that short or all that slow or all that fast. And uh, really pretty, pretty comfortable gun to shoot. They're nice. The Danes do a good job, even if they don't always catch on commercially.